Hey guys, Jay here with Word of Advice TV. In a couple of my furnace videos in the comment sections, I've had a few people tell me that only one or two of their burners are turning on, the flames are coming on, but the other two or three burners are not coming on, and I've walked them through how to fix that. So I thought I would just make a quick video of how to do this for the rest of you, just in case that ever happens to you, and let's just dive right in. So right here you have the gas valve. After the gas comes into the gas valve, it goes into the gas manifold, which is usually this U-shaped or J-shaped pipe right here. And this pipe, depending on how many burners you have, that's how many gas orifices you will have, which are these brass fittings just right at the other side of this. You're not gonna really be able to see it on camera, but I'll add a picture. These fittings have a little hole in them, the orifice, four little holes in here. And sometimes, you know, during, let's say the summer when your furnace isn't being used, a spider can get in there and make a little web over the surface of that gas orifice or some other kind of debris. If something gets through some kind of pipe dope, maybe through the pipe, it can clog that up. And what will happen is, you know, the gas will come through. It'll light the burners where the gas can get out, but the orifices that are plugged, of course, nothing will happen there. So knowing that seeing is believing, let's try an example of this just so you can see what I'm talking about. So I turn my furnace back on and there goes my inducer motor. Pressure switch is closed. My igniter should start to glow. And for example, I'm gonna go ahead and just plug these two orifices with my fingers just to show you what that would look like. So if this is what you're seeing, only two burners come on, or one or three, that would mean that your gas orifice or a couple of them are plugged up. So let's wait for this thing to light. So as you can see, only the first two lit. And the next two are plugged. So that was two orifices plugged. And let's simulate just one orifice plugged. Let's plug this one for example. See what happens. As you can see, only the first burner turned on. And by the way, while I'm at it, just something I want to point out. The orifices, the gas, it actually goes through each one, one at a time. So if this one's plugged, the flame sensor, of course, is not sensing the flame and it's going to shut that gas valve off. And that's the reason why most of the time on most furnaces, that flame sensor is on the opposite side of the igniter because the burners light one at a time, you know, from the igniter going to the flame sensor. That way it knows that that last igniter is lit. So if you're seeing that you're having this problem, cleaning it is actually very easy. All you need is just a little piece of wire. In my case, it's just a little piece of thermostat wire. Bend it into an L shape, just towards the end. And you don't even need a mirror to look at it or anything. Just kind of reach in there and plug this thing in and just feel around and you'll feel it kind of, um, just kind of sink into the hole. Then just kind of, you know, clean it all up good, wiggle it in there, and whatever gunk is in there should get cleared out. Or if you're just curious for yourself, you could just stick a mirror in there and see if that opening is closed. And just so you know, I have seen it before where that little hole is just partially plugged, so the flame kind of looks odd. You know, all the burners are on good, but one flame will be kind of a small cone instead of a big cone. That could also mean that that orifice is a little bit plugged up. So it doesn't take long, just stick a little wire in there and clean that up too and see if that makes a difference. Well guys, and that's all I wanted to share with you today. Hopefully knowing this will save your day at one point of time. And if you have something else to add to that, maybe you've seen something in the field or you have some questions about what you saw, let us know in the comments below and we'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to mash that like button on the way out and we'll see you next time. And for those of you that watched the video all the way till the end, here's a little bonus section. So let's say you come to a flame sensor and the flame sensor is just completely messed up. Let's say it's like black, you clean it to no avail, or the porcelain part is just all cracked and you need to replace it for some reason. But it so happens that on your truck, of course, you don't have any L-shaped flame sensors, all you have is straight ones. And if you ever find yourself in a pinch like that, you can very easily manufacture a flame sensor that's L-shaped out of a straight one, just by simply bending it. And I'll show you an example of that with this one. If you don't want to leave bite marks on it, just put a cloth or a scotch bright pad on top of it. Grab it with some pliers. Take another plier. For example, this one right here. 
and just bend. As you can see, now we have a bent flame sensor. So you can go ahead and just use this flame sensor temporarily and then just go ahead and order the right one for the furnace. But that should get you out of your pinch.